So maybe you can start. Uh, so uh, good morning, Mr. Madikora. It's nice having you here. Maybe people would like to know who is uh, David Yodi Madikora and how you started your career in football. Uh, I started my career in football. I grew up in Highfields. Um, I grew up in a police camp because my father was a policeman in all the fields. That is when I, where I started playing football. I started playing football for a police team. We used to stay in all the fields. They used to call the, the camp a new police camp. And our coach was uh, Aaron Zumbira. So I started from under 12, under 14. Um, under 16, that is when I joined Dynamos. Uh, in fact, Dynamos, they came to Eiffel's to play us, and uh, their coach uh, at that time was Josiah. Josiah Akende. He's a former goalkeeper for Dynamos. He's the one who asked me to come and join Dynamos. So that is how I joined Dynamos. And uh, you're saying uh, that it was under 16. Do you remember which year it was uh, when you first joined Dynamos? Uh, it was around 1972-73. That, that is when I joined Dynamos. So that was uh, maybe at least 10 years after the formation of Dynamos. So yeah, uh, in fact, uh, yeah, uh, there were some very old, old uh, Dynamos uh, characters that I, I still remember at that time. Uh, for, I mean, with some, some former players and founder members. Okay, okay. Yeah. If you can share with us with some of those who uh, influ really influenced you besides your side for you to join the numbers. Okay. Uh, there were a lot of guys. Uh, Dan Vamahachi, Robson Mundava, when I think he came in the later form, I think it was from Lawa in that time. Ah, I've forgotten some, most of, most of the guys, but uh, there is quite a long time now. Oh, ah, great. Yeah. So uh, after joining the Ramos at the age of 16, uh, uh, how long did you take to break into this team? Because we know that since the uh, day, it was, really, it was a really a competitive thing to be part of the Ramos team. Yeah, it was very difficult to, to break into the Ramos team because every week the supporters that you uh, in fact, they knew the Dynamo's team for some years. They, they never used to change the team, so it was very, very difficult to break in. Uh, and there was a guy called uh, David Madoka, he was a very good uh, midfielder. He helped, me, he helped me to break into the team because I used to go for training nearly every day. But never he used to get a chance to play. So mm. there's one time when he he, he volunteered to, to to do for me to, to, to take his position. That is uh, how the coaches uh, noticed me because of uh, that guy David Madonna. So it was very difficult, but I mean if you keep on trying. Uh, Get the sometimes you, you, you can get the, the, the result. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. So after getting into the Dynamo squad, uh, maybe yeah, how was it like now playing in front of those huge crowds at Ufaba Stadium? Because we are talking that this is just before independence and after independence. How was it like playing uh, for Dynamo right then? Uh, before independence, uh, the crowds were very, very, we used to get very good crowds and it was very exciting. And uh, uh, well, I, I really enjoyed uh, playing for for the animals. In fact, my first game, uh, most of the games I, I used to be on the bench. But there's a game that I played at Trufaro. I came on for George Shire, mm. and uh, I was playing. I played as a winger that game. We were, we were losing uh, two zero. We were playing black aces. And when I came on uh, for Georgia, we we, we we managed to 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 equalize and get, get a, a, a two 
true. Okay. Um, that is how I, I, I was introduced to, to, to Dynamos. But when Joshua came back to the team, instead of being played at number seven, because I played this position, uh, I, I changed to, and then I went to, uh, to play in midfield. Uh, that is how I, 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 I changed. Was I started playing as a as a winger, and then most of my career I played as a as a midfielder. Because Joshua, when he came back, he came to take his position, so he was a very good player. Uh, I couldn't. <laughs> It may be coming, like what you're saying, coming, oh, you'll be well, coming from off the bench and replacing a player like George Shire, trying to be part of George Shire, because you know he has been one of those that are Dynamo Sons. How, how, how did it feel to be to take yourself for replacing uh, George Shire? Oh, <laughs> it was something uh, that uh, a lot of people they, they couldn't even believe uh, that uh, I could play. Uh, in, even me, I couldn't believe that I played in George Shire because he was, so, he was a very, very good player. Yeah. And uh, with time moving on, since uh, that after break, you're breaking into, into the, the senior team, the senior team, the senior team, you went on to win the Superstar of Award, was it in 1980? Yeah, 19, uh, 1980. So how, how, how did it feel? Maybe that is about six, six years later after joining, after joining the Dynamos. Being crowned the best player on the day in Zimbabwe. No, it was about seven, seven years. Seven, seven years, seven, yeah. Seven, seven years. Uh, yeah, that time, uh, that is when I also played for the national team. Uh, but before playing the, for, for the senior national team, I, I also played for the under, under, under 16. I think I got a medal here. Okay. For, uh, but it was Rhodesia. Oh, you, you did play for the Rhodesian team? I played for Rhodesia under, under, under 16. Okay, okay. We went to Malawi and we played a, a game in Malawi. Uh, uh, with uh, players like Bruce Grobella. We, they, they were still we were, we were still juniors at that time. Okay. George Rollo and some other guys like Maxwell Joseph he used to also play for, for Arcadia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also oh, talking about uh, that, uh, so by then you were already at Houston to the, the national team. But coming back to this uh, 1980 being crowned the soccer star, that was the same year that is what we got its independence. What kind of relief does it give to you to be crowned the, the first player in the modern, modern day Zimbabwe to be the first player to be crowned so, the soccer star? Uh, in fact, uh, before me, uh, I, I became the soccer star, the previous year it was Chapman Town. Uh, we grew up together in Highfields. So, and before that it was uh, George Rollo. We played together in the junior. So it was a, a question of just uh, saying, ah, I've taken over from some of the guys that, that I knew. So it wasn't something new to, to, to us. It was, it was a very good competition at that time. And, uh... Since uh, since then, now going into the into modern day Zimbabwe, that is around 1980 to 2008, you can call to us uh, your history since after independence. Mm -hmm. For how long did you continue playing for the I uh, until 1987. Uh, the first team I started playing for the first team in 1970, 1977. 77 we managed to win the league. 78, I don't remember. 79, I think. Was uh, I got seven league titles as a player for for the number seven, and there's a coach I only got one. Yeah. Oh, so after after the boots in uh, 1987, you went into coaching. Yes. How was the how was the, like the transition from being a player into coaching? Uh, the guy who, who encouraged me to, to get into coaching was uh, Ben Coffey. The, he was the director of, 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 of coaching in Zimbabwe at that time. He, he was from Ghana. He's the one who encouraged me to get into coaching. And, uh, 
He sent me to, I went to hotel in Germany okay. uh, in 1989. I went there for about uh, four weeks. And when I came back, we also had a few courses in Zimbabwe. That is how I went into to coaching. Oh, okay. Uh, talking now about some of the highs uh, of your coaching career, some of the lows, uh, which was the, which was your first team to coach uh, uh, after retiring? Uh, after retiring, my first uh, job I got uh, it was Context House. Context House, they were in two ways. Um, Division 1, uh, that's, that's where, where, where I started coaching. And from Context House, I went to Kwebe to coach Lancashire City, they were also in Division 1. Mm -hmm. uh, and we managed to get promotion into the Premier League uh, at Lancashire Steel. And from Lancashire Steel, I didn't stay very long. We played in the Premier League and after that I went to Swaziland. I coached in Switzerland. I, I didn't stay very long. I stayed. I, I, I only coached for about eight months, I think, and I came back to, to Zimbabwe. And then I went to coach Dynamo's Juniors, and from there, then I, I was appointed the first team coach. Okay, Dynamo. Yeah, now we're having uh, that kind of history. What was it like to go to be the Dynamo seat coach being thrust into that position? You knowing the, the team as a player and now being given that uh, privilege with Dynamo as head coach? Uh, it was not very difficult because I grew up in the system and uh, I knew what was required because Dynamo, uh, they expect to... In fact, during our playing days, we. The trophy that Dynamo always wanted to win was the league championship. So I grew up in the system and I knew everything that was that was required. I mean, by the by the team. So at least I knew uh, what to expect from the supporters and from from, from the, 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 the players. And to, to mention that uh, you did mention earlier that uh, you had seven big titles with Dynamo as a player. Maybe you can share with us some of your success too with Dynamo uh, going forward uh, after being appointed head coach. <coughs> you should like to share with us. Ah, uh, well, I only got one league uh, championship. Um, so maybe one runners up. With I don't remember how many years I coached the Dynamos. Um, and also we managed to get into the semi-finals of the, of the Play Cup Champions League when I, when I was coaching. Uh, I think uh, those are some of the highlights um, you know, of my coaching uh, career. Okay, okay. And uh, maybe uh, after the Dynamos coach here, after, after that time I was team as head coach, is it the, the time that maybe you took some time off uh, of the field? Uh, after we had failed to win the Champions League, uh, although we got to the quarterfinal, I was I was fired from, from <laughs> my, the, the, my, my, my job and I went to, to coach in Mozambique. Uh, there's one team that we, we had played uh, in the Champions League, Costa do Sol. They approached me and asked me if I could go and coach in Mozambique. And I went there and I stayed in Maputo for one and a half years. So it was quite, quite a good experience for me. Oh, interesting. Well, and I uh, do understand that uh, besides Dynamos, you also had some teams with uh, other Premier League clubs here in Zimbabwe. How was it like coaching, maybe coaching in Swaziland, coaching in uh, Mozambique, coaching at Dynamo's in some of these Premier League clubs? How, how can we uh, define the difference of being in that uh, dugout for Dynamo's and these other teams? 
Uh, I, 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 I really enjoyed working like uh, for a team like Context House and also in Kwekwe. Uh, there were quite a number of uh, very good players. That is where I, I, I also discovered uh, this, this guy, uh, Kingston Renombo. And uh, uh, there was very good talent in, in Kwekwe. There were some very good players there. Uh, there was also another midfielder, his name was Petrus, Petrus Banda. Mishik uh, Kwawari, there were quite a number, a number. And there was also Paul Golden at that time. He came, he, we, we took him from Zisco and uh, he also played for Lancashire still. Um, then Simon Chingori took him from, from Kariba to Kwekwe. And uh, it was very, very adventurous, I mean, it was very good. Uh, we are really invaded. it. And uh, maybe uh, some time back, uh, <coughs> there was a decision of you when you were saying you are ready to come back uh, to football. Do you really miss football these days or uh, you want to the <laughs> I miss football a lot because I, I, I was used to to coaching but uh, at the moment I can't do anything. I, I just have to uh, uh, watch on, on TV. Sometimes I, when I get a chance I go and watch some teams training. Sometimes I go to watch Dynamo's training. I've gone there for a few times but it's a bit difficult. Yeah, okay. And uh, people would remember that uh, the time in Bangladesh like, since uh, that uh, the, since you were amputated was when Zimbabwe Legends played against the Baka uh, Legends. <laughs> Do you still oh, remember that day? Yes, I, I do remember, yes. I was oh. one, of, one of the coaches. I was yes. assistant <laughs> to Sandy Marimo. Sandy Chitzama on that day. I really, I really enjoyed it. Okay. And yeah. uh, maybe she has the experience that you met with some of those players that you played with before and uh, again with uh, Sandy Chitzama. I know he's one of the one of the coaches that you went with before. No, Sandy, uh, at first he was my coach uh, because we played together. And when he got injured, he, he, he became our coach. I think he coached me for three to four years before I retired. So he, 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 he came a very long way with Sunday. And maybe people would uh, want to know that uh, how, how it's been life for you, coach your you since you said that you missed, you missed football, you've been used to football. I think it's now almost three years since uh, you've been out of action. Yeah, it's about four years now. Yes. I, think. I was I was ambitious in 2017. Yeah, I'm going to the uh, Well, you know, since uh, it's, I'm somebody who was used to, to coaching, like uh, when I got ambitious, I was just coming from a. I used to work in Triangle. That yeah. was my last job yeah. as a coach. Uh, it's something that uh, staying at home, you know, it's something that I'm not used to. But I just had to get uh, used to it. Of course, that, that is uh, uh, our, our life course. Yeah. And uh, maybe trying to refer to up on the or on the playing in uh, this uh, coaching thing. Looking at Dynamos, the, the Dynamos that you played for, that was uh, before independence and soon after independence, 14 years with Dynamos and currently. What has changed with the, with this, uh, especially if we are looking at the crowds and everything to support us in football the game? Uh, first of all, Dynamos, they, they don't have any junior policy now. Dynamos, before, like the time that we, uh, when we joined Dynamos, the, the junior policy, very, very good junior policy. So, uh, in fact, we played for Dynamos as a junior, so we knew exactly what is wanted in the team. So, at the moment, Dynamos, I don't think they can do very well without a junior police. I think it's important for them to to, to, to get this. And maybe more football, what have you been up to? Ah, at the moment, no, I, I just... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing anything, I just read books and uh, Sometimes I watch my favorite uh, Liverpool team, Liverpool. <laughs> so, uh, 
that is not much I'm doing. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, oh, when, when you came in, you did mention about uh, young women, your son, is he also into football? He's <laughs> not into football. <laughs> No one wanted to follow you to follow into your boots. <laughs> yeah, it's not an easy. Football is not easy. Hmm. Yeah, I never encourage you to <laughs> to play football. Oh, why did? Ah, uh, because I went to bed blood. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so thank you, Mr. Madikola. Uh, no, that's fine. Thank you very much for everyone.